All right, what's happening, everybody? Mark Harbert here, and uh, today I've got a very special guest with me, um, somebody who I've been friends with now for probably 12 years. <laughs> we've met one time <laughs> yeah. in that whole time, but we've become very good friends. And uh, my friend Gavin Mountford from the UK. What's up, man? It's great to awesome. Great yeah, to really, here. really, um, really good. And uh, we've it's it makes change for me to be on the other side and actually being the one that's in, being interviewed rather than doing it the right. other way around. Right. Yeah, because we we just did something uh, a little bit over a month ago. But um, it's always great to have you on, man. And um, yeah, you and I have known each other for quite a while, and it was kind of surreal when we first got to meet each other for the first time because of the uh you know just seeing each other online and then when you see it, it's like wow you're a lot taller than i thought Gavin. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes i think that's the thing that i love the most is you you get to know somebody online first yeah. and you kind of chat backwards and forwards and you know yeah. you do a few calls etc and then you meet somebody in real life and yeah. they're still the same but slightly yeah. different and i remember yeah. us going around austin in texas and we often talk about uh, being on one of those rickshaws <laughs> yeah. cruising down the middle of austin <laughs> high street or whatever and uh, phil collins playing in the background i absolutely love that i know man so yeah absolutely well cool it's great to have you on and um so what i want to do is first before we get into some of the content we're going to talk about um let's let's hear a little bit of your story for people who might not know you um, we've known each other for the longest time. And I, I mean, I've heard your story before, but let's assume people don't know who you are and, and, uh, give us a little, the little four one one. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, it's a bit of a journey and I think everybody's online journey is, is different to, to how, how we do it. So hopefully people will be able to relate to the ups and the downs and the kind of trials and the tribulations that, that we, we all go through. And for me, it happened, um, back in 2001, you know, I was uh, living in a shed uh, in, in a house with seven other people. And I lived in the back bedroom of uh, number 35 Cedar Way. And I had this big double mattress on the floor and every single morning I would pick up this big mattress it's a huge thing and I'd carry it all the way down the stairs and I'd put it behind the sofa in the living room and then I'd go to work in a mobile phone shop for nine hours I'd come home and then I'd teach guitar for two or three hours from my bedroom and the reason I'd move the mattress was because I didn't want people to know that I was teaching for my bedroom and there wasn't enough space in there anyway and um I um I live with a, a guy called Neil and Neil uh, said to me, Hey Gav, you know, I can see you're a bit miserable at the moment. Um, I'm going for a meeting with a guy called Paul at the holiday Inn in Guildford. And uh, he's going to talk about a business opportunity. Uh, you know, you might be able to make some extra money. And I'm like, mm, that sounds really interesting. I, you know, if I can get out of this situation, I'll, I'm definitely up for it. So we, we went along and we met this small uh, middle-aged kind of bald guy uh, called Paul. And he was a really nice guy and he sat down and pulled out a pen and a paper and started drawing drawing circles on it and showing all these ideas and you can make this much money and you can do this and what would you do with this and where would you go and you know as a I don't know 21 to 23 year old roughly my mind was absolutely blown at the time I had no idea that that was even possible to make that much money so I said well whatever it is that, that you're selling, I'm interested and I'm in. And both Neil and I joined uh, immediately. So uh, we, we went back a couple of days later and we spoke to Paul and um, he took us through the process of, of um, writing out our lists of friends and family that I think many uh, network marketers have, have, have done before and contacting those people at the time. And, you know, we were ringing people up, we were inviting them to meetings. Majority of them had said, no, I'm not interested. This isn't for me. Just be careful, you know, and and, and a few of them joined. But um, the ones that joined didn't tend to stick around for, for very long. And I just thought, this isn't for me. You know, I'm not going to be able to maintain this I, I didn't know what I was doing I didn't particularly have the support and I was I guess I was um, influenced by other people's opinions so I I gave up um, but I, I gave up on network marketing all the way back then and you know as you'll see soon that it all came back around later yeah. um, but then I never gave up my dream to become financially free and work for myself and happened to go online and um, you may not know this mark but i um i bought a website in the gambling industry and there was a website that was for sale for like five thousand pounds yeah 
And um, I didn't have the money. So I went to the bank and I asked the bank manager if I could borrow £5,000. But I said that I was going to be borrowing it to buy a car because I said I thought that if I'd said that I was going to buy a gambling website, he'd have said, no way, not not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so that is kind of the best way to, to, to borrow some money. So I bought yeah. the website um, and it was already making, I think, one or two thousand a month anyway. And it was it was selling pro it was selling gambling products and affiliate products etc and it was with that website that i learned internet marketing i learned how to create sales pages and capture pages and sales funnels etc one of the things that that people will notice as we go through this is that internet marketing and network marketing are very very different and they're really two different mediums that you can kind of put together yeah. so you know with the internet marketing business and the gambling website, I was making really good money, but I wasn't passionate about it. I, I was taking the profits and I was basically drinking them. And, I, you know, I was I was going out having fun. I was partying yeah. around and deep down inside I was miserable and I was unfulfilled. Yeah. So I just thought I need to stop this. I was basically killing the golden goose that laid the golden egg. Yeah. And eventually I just thought I, I need to sell the website. So I, I sold them and I made a really good income for, or really good money from them, like 70,000 pounds, about a hundred thousand dollars. Cause I built them up wow. quite a lot. Yeah. And, but then st stupid me at the time went and wasted that money on other things. And I was literally back to square one again and mm -hmm. um, feeling miserable, feeling down and, and, and just depressed. Um, <clears throat> happened to come across a, a, a business opportunity or a network marketing company in pre-launch. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can take my internet marketing skills and I can build this network marketing business like I tried to do all those years before. And, you know, very quickly, I uh, it was my space at the time and it was blogging and it was video, et cetera. You know, that, that's how long ago it was. Um, so I joined this company. It was called UVMe. And I enrolled, I think it was uh, 284 people in the pre-launch phase, uh, just myself using the kind of internet marketing skills. And, and this was when it was easy to do that because nobody else was doing it um, <laughs> at, at such a great, great time. Yeah. Um but the problem was this company was in pre-launch and I got all this money sitting there in the online account and I could um, I could see it. I'd enrolled all these people. All my team members were excited and we were excited. And then all of a sudden it was like the company just said, I'm sorry, we are not going to be able to launch. And the company's gone bust and you know nothing's going to happen. And it was almost like this big fist from above just coming down, just hitting me <laughs> saying, Gavin, get down. You're never going to succeed at this. Mm. Just give up. And that's what it felt like at the time. And it's not 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 a nice situation to be in. Yeah. Um, but I'm one of those people um, that, you know, obviously we've been around for a, quite a long time. Yeah. Um, I'm one of those people just like you. We don't give up. We, we keep going yeah. and we keep going until we hit our goal. So yeah. Happened to join another company called Pure Leverage, um, and again, you you may remember that company. It was different yeah. autoresponders and video marketing that. tools, etc. Back in the day, and and I created a team website, and then started to teach my team all these internet marketing skills that I developed. And I'm thinking, yes, this is going to blow up. It's going to go crazy, and everyone's going to duplicate. It's going to be amazing. But what I hadn't realized was that was not going to be the case, and. I had no idea why my team weren't duplicating. I was giving them everything that I knew, all of these internet marketing tricks, but they couldn't do anything. They, they didn't do anything with it. And it wasn't until I went out for a run one day and came back, I jumped in the shower and then I said, oh, I had this kind of light bulb moment. I said, I know why they're not duplicating it. It's because I'm overcomplicating things. I'm, mm. I, I'm, I'm teaching them all these internet marketing tactics and capture pages, sales pages, sales funnels. And most of them are fairly new. They haven't got much time. They don't know what they're doing. I've got all this experience. So, so I thought, well, I need to go back to the drawing board and just simplify the whole process mm. and, and figure out what were the bare essentials that I did myself. And I came up with a six step sequence, um, which is now my six step sponsoring sequence and six steps method that I've developed over the years. And, you know, I've used it now to enroll close to a, a thousand people in multiple different opportunities. But as soon as I started to teach them a simple process yeah. and, you know, the team duplicated incredibly quickly. I think it was, you know, 28 people in 19 days. And then it was 183 people. Then it was like 500, then it was several thousand and it, yeah. it grew and grew and grew. And we were using attraction based marketing um, and not chasing, not pestering and not bugging um, yeah. other people. And, you know, since, since then it was, um, <clears throat> Since then, it's been 
I've, I've taught that process to not just my team members, but other coaching clients and created courses, et cetera, around it as well. Um, but from that point, this kind of brings us back to where we are today. So six steps was the sequence that that I created. But then I thought, well, there's, there's three specific master skills mm-hmm. that really all successful online marketers use, all successful network marketers use. And that's where we, we are with, um, with what we, we're going to be talking about today. Yeah. No, that's awesome. And, you know, I think what I love about your story is that it also brings a lot of experience when you are doing something, you see, it's not working, you pivot. And it's like you said, we're entrepreneurs. We, we tend to be very stubborn when things aren't working and we just it's like we get this mean on and we're going to figure it out how it works no matter what come hell or yes. water we're not going to stop and that's such i think that's one of the best traits you can have as an entrepreneur is to get like you know so adamant that you the word give up is not in your vocabulary you know and, yeah you um, just try try a different way don't you and you, you yeah and if, figure and if that way it doesn't work you try another one and you just keep going until yep. you get it you know so so that leads us to you know, all the way up until this point, you know, and like I said, I've known you for years, you've always had such a great community. And that's one of the things that I've always loved about what you do is you're always so great at community. And it's led us to um, the summit that you've put together. Mm. And you've brought together, you know, so many experts, and I have the privilege of being a part of that. uh, For the content convo convert masterclass series that you've put together. So let's talk a little bit about that. And what was kind of the idea behind it? And you know, what, um, you know, how did it come about? Yeah. Um, really good, uh, really good time to, to talk about that and to kind of go into it. Cause it kind of led me on from where I was at with the, the three master skills. And I'll, I'll come to that in a second, but I think w- one of the reasons that I I'm putting the content convo convert masterclass interview series on was because I want to, other network marketers to know what's possible in the online space, because I think often what happens many network marketers in a company, they only really hear their uplines ideas or their sidelines ideas. They don't really see all of this other, um, these other strategies that are out there. And I think many network marketers often miss out on a lot of different strategies Mm -hmm. that are working for other people just because they don't know about them. So it, it made sense to kind of tap into my 20 years worth of experience and pull yeah. together people like yourself and um you know 28 other top online network marketing coaches yeah. and speakers and trainers to yeah. uh, to ask them some questions about what they are doing to crush it in their business online and you know to give people some different perspectives and strategies yeah. that are working right now so um i decided that because of the kind of the journey that i'd been on and i'd figured out all of this noise that's out there and there is so much of it there's so much distraction there's shiny objects here and there there's many different strategies but boiling it down to those three master skills which are uh, content conversations and then conversions and you know to, to, to kind of talk briefly about each of those i mean content as you know yourself is is yeah. absolutely essential nobody's Idle. ever going to find you if you're not creating content and once you've run out of a warm market it's like well what do you do then where do you yeah. go who do you speak to so the content in whatever type of medium whether it's video like mark or whether it's facebook or whether it's instagram or pinterest or you know in any of the platforms using that content to attract people and to build an audience and then from there it's like well okay so i've i've now attracted people to me what do i do next how do i transition those people well that's where conversations comes into play and it's conversations in messenger or in direct messages it's it's knowing how to kind of transition people to warm them up and then to convert them into a, a customer a client or a team member in in in, in your opportunity so you know as, as, as you said 28 different um online experts yeah. that are network marketers primarily um yeah. not everybody's in network marketing but the strategies all work and i just thought well if i interview these people and 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 focus it in on three specific um core master skills then people can take away you know it's interesting because even though i've been doing this for 20 years i still took a page of notes for every single person that i interviewed yeah we we never stop learning do we yeah never stop yeah and i mean that's that's the interesting part about it and you you hit on a good point that i think is very important and that is that you know 
people hear these certain things from their companies and a lot of it's just, Hey, post this link, post that, you know, post, 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 but they're not really teaching how to, you know, have fun on social media. They're not teaching, you know, the simple things of like, Hey, every single post doesn't have to be about your business, you know, cause there are people where I'll go to their profile and, you know, and it's just like everything. It's like a big billboard. They've got zero engagement on any of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's an, and really some of my most engaging posts are, you know, just having fun and building that kind of rapport with people um, via the posts. But it's important to get other um, successful marketers and get their perspective on things mm-hmm. because you really don't know what you don't know. And yes. when you've got somebody who's successful, um, and this is one thing I'm always saying, I think I learned it from Jim Rohn, but it's like, if someone is successful, the thing that you do is you go and you look at them and you model what they're doing. doesn't necessarily mean copy them, but model it. What are they doing and how can you duplicate that? And that's where it really is. And you have to expose yourself to that. The success leaves clues. We've heard that before too. So I think that's very important. Yeah, definitely. And and the really interesting thing was every single person that I spoke to and I've looked at their profiles and I've watched their videos and I've read their emails and they're all six, seven, and sometimes eight figure earners. That's like a hundred thousand dollars or more per year. So anywhere up to like a million and then a million up to 10 million and potentially more. So they're all incredibly successful. But the biggest thing that I noticed that they did was they they've branded themselves. They don't just promote a company. In fact, oftentimes you wouldn't even know what network marketing company they're yep. promoting on the front end yeah. they're just offering value they're training they're teaching they're connecting and you know many of the sp- several of the speakers that i spoke to were really hot on personal branding and how somebody yes. can brand themselves to differentiate themselves from yep. everybody else out there you know the millions of other reps in in network marketing companies and you know from my own journey and and, and I, I left a lot of it out obviously but 20 years is going to take me a while to explain but i think i've been in three companies that have gone bust they've disappeared they've closed when i thought they were the biggest company out there they were never going to close they were amazing but fortunately i i positioned myself at the forefront so any company that kind of came along that anything that happened to that company um i could just switch it on the back end and nothing really changed for me and i think that was one of the biggest biggest takeaways from interviewing many of many of these people that's awesome. So let's talk uh, just a moment too about um, the 80-20 rule or the Pareto uh, principle, you know, the Pareto principle that we hear about all the time and why it's important, especially for social media, because, you know, we just talked about how people are posting, you know, links to all their company. All they ever do is talk about it, you know, things mm-hmm. like that. I mean, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so um, Pareto's principle or the 80-20 rule, I think many, many people will have probably heard it and can certainly resonate with it. But essentially, um, 80% of the activities that most people do, in, in, in let's talk about it in the context of social media, 80% of the activities that most people do on social media are pretty much a waste of time. You know, we, we all, um, and many people log on, log on and they'll check their email and they'll go to Facebook. They'll look at their messages. They'll look at their notifications. They'll write out a post, but actually if they haven't focused in on the right areas and they're not doing the right activities, that time is basically wasted because nothing comes of it. So essentially Pareto's principle says that 80% of the actions that you do will only will produce 20% of the results and 20% of the actions that you do will will create 80% of the results. So it makes sense to know what the 20% of actions are that you can focus as much of your time on. So you then get 80% of the results, but you get it in a lot less time. And it's, you know, when, when you figure that out, and this, this is where content conversations and conversions comes into play, because if you focus your time, let's say you've got three hours to work on your business, then the first hour is content creation. So yeah. you're creating content, but you're having to do it in, you're doing it in the right way because you've mastered the skill. So you know where to post, you know when to post, you know what kind of content to create and who you're creating it for. So that's your first hour. The second yeah. hour then is, okay, great. I've created content, but I'm not making any money. And if all I ever do is create content, 
yeah. more than likely nothing's ever going to happen because social media is queued up for engagement. So yes. you've got to engage. So that's where conversations comes into play. Conversations with people in, in, in Messenger, conversations in the comment section, but taking people through a very specific process, not just random conversations with random people, hoping that somebody's going to say, can I buy from you or can I join you? Because rarely it ever happens. So, you know, I've, I've developed um, a four stage process. I call it the CAS method, uh, connect, ask, solve, sell, which is really a specific process in Messenger that you can take people through to warm them up and get them excited for your product and service and opportunity. And then the third hour, would be focused on your income producing activities, your conversions and your closing. Um, and, and again, there's different ways dependent on how somebody's building a business. So there might be, um, if they're more internet marketing based, then it would be creating a sales letter or creating a website yeah. or creating a funnel that would be a, focusing on conversions. But if it's more network marketing and it's about reaching out to people and it's about connecting, it's about inviting people, then, yeah. you know, it would be all done through messenger. It would be yeah. inviting somebody to take a look at your offer or your opportunity um, and, and, and doing that. But so if you focus three hours of your time solely on those three things yeah. without getting distracted, without checking your email, without replying yeah. to, you know, if in your content, if you're in messenger, then there's something wrong. Yeah. If you're um, supposed to be doing it the other way around, you're in messenger and you're supposed to create content again, it, things you have to have things in, in the right order. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's, that's definitely, you know, super important. And um, I, um, that's one of the things I've always appreciated about you too, is you are very systematic on how you do things, yeah. but you get results, you know, and you, you show other people how to do that as well. And I, and that's why I think this masterclass that you put together with all these, you know, leaders online is really, you know, powerful. And I know a lot of the names in there and I know a lot of these people get incredible results with the things that they do. And um, it's just a matter of getting in there, learning how some of these things are being done and doing it you know, and really putting it into practice, you know? So I love, I love that when I first, uh, you know, saw the name of it, the content combo convert, I was like, oh, that's mm. really cool because that really gets down to the three basic things that you need to master, you know? Yep. And cause it's always, it's like you said, content, that is like the most, one of the most critical uh, skills to develop. But then having good conversations and communicating with people is also another skill to develop and learning how to convert, whether it's internet marketing or being on the phone and closing somebody into your network marketing company, whatever it may be. Yeah, so and the, the, really the, the, com the, the conversion part's an interesting one because you could have, I mean, let's just say you've got two people in a company and one person is out there enrolling person after person after person after person making sale after sale after sale after sale and generating you know tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of revenue in their team and making a significant income and then you've got another person in the same company selling the same products and the same opportunity right. that's making nothing that's getting zero um sales and zero enrollments and it's like well what is the difference that that makes the difference it's it's kind of there's a magic there there's almost like a secret source it's like an having irresistible influence and that's really where that comes in because you can also have one sales page and you could that sells zero products and you can have another sales page exactly the same length but there's certain elements in there that converts people better and higher and you know this all comes down and you know all about this yourself for an irresistible offer you know yeah. if you can package up your product or your opportunity in such a way that excites people that isn't just the same as what everybody else is doing then all of a sudden you're going to find that you have an avalanche of people and when you combine it with content and the conversations and have that kind of irresistible influence i think everything just seems to change yep yeah absolutely well, that's awesome, man. And I, you know, we've definitely hit on, you know, these three, these three. And I think with your masterclass, putting that together with all the people that have mastered a lot, you know, I think everybody in this series is great at all three, but there's some that they really excel in. Like some people yep. are really good at creating content. Some people are also very good at the conversations or converting, but in order to be successful, you really have to have all three, but some of them really excel in certain uh, disciplines, you know? And that's uh, what I love about it. Cause you're bringing, you're bringing together the best of the best to really help you, you know, help people understand that. So 
um, you got, you know, you guys want to make sure that you get registered for it. And um, uh, when does the, the um, date it opens on the 16th, right? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. So it, go, it goes live on the 16th. Yeah. For, it's okay. 14 days and there'll be two interviews released each day. Awesome. Um, so yes, yeah, so you, th there's there's two ways to register. You can register. Um, well, you you everybody yeah. registers for free essentially. So it's a free yeah. masterclass series. Yeah. Yeah. You have 24 hours to watch each of the video interviews. If somebody wants to go VIP, it's 37 dollars um, yeah. now. So somebody can upgrade uh, and get lifetime access to the um, to to all of the interviews and all of the free gifts that each of the speakers are going to give. They'll all be in the back office, etc. As well, and the price for that will increase. Um, but obviously, I'll be mentioning more about that later. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I think that you know that depends how somebody wants to do this. Whether they want to um, watch for free, which is absolutely yeah. fine, or whether they want to go for lifetime access as well. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And guys, I'm going to have the link right down below this video. Definitely check it out. Get registered. And uh, take advantage of it. You know, anytime you can glean information from, um, you know, from people that have gone before you, you always want to do it. Always. I, and I am, I'll tell you, I'm one of those people that um, I've been in this a long time, you know, I mean, I've been around, you know, yeah, I think you were around even before I was, but um, yeah, I mean, there wasn't I've been much around, in it though, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been around since uh, 2008, you know, online marketing and stuff like that. So we're talking almost 15 years here. Yeah. And, um, you know, one of the things I've learned over the years, you never stop learning. If somebody's doing something successful, I don't care who it is. You listen to what they're saying and see how you can apply what they're talking about. Cause I have learned some from people who are making, you know, having success, making a couple hundred bucks a month. And I've learned stuff from people making a couple million a month, you know, yeah. and you, but there's no matter what, there's always something to learn if somebody did something successfully, you know, and you want to do that. So Awesome, Gavin. Well, I appreciate your time, man. And uh, this is definitely a great thing, guys. Make sure you get registered. Uh, it's actually markharbor.com slash combo is what I what I put. And you can look at the link. It's right down below this video. Or if you're watching this on YouTube as well, make sure you check the description as the link is there. So awesome. Gavin, thank sure you appreciate much. you, man. Appreciate yep, you. you. And, I appreciate uh, it too. This won't be our last interview. You know? No, <laughs> I feel like, not. hey, man, we're on a roll. We've been doing one a month here. We might yeah, <laughs> let's get a third one done. I know. All right, guys, have a great one and make sure you get registered for the uh, Masterclass series. Talk soon. Take care. See you later.